Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the next in the Blender tutorial, the 1905 Star Gordon Bennett racing car. Now, um, in the last episode we created the um, spokes for the front wheels. What I want to do now is um, is, is copy, copy those and... Um, let's hide that. Copy those and, and put them on the back, so we'll put the blueprints back on. So click on the blueprints and um, right, so in front view, go to front view and go to wireframe and go B and we'll click over the whole lot. So grab the whole lot. Okay, go back into the side view, press three and press shift shift and D to duplicate and then move them across and just match them up loosely with um, with the wheel I mean this is just to create a start really um, the wheels are different at the front to what they are at the back. Okay, so um, now we're going to tidy up. So now we've done that, um, we'll tidy up the uh, we'll tidy up the outliner. So I've got stuff all over the place. So let's tidy that up. Um, so we'll select an item at, at a time of the wheel make sure that they are labeled correctly so front wheels so first off let's drag this down a little bit press some um, right mouse button new collection and where is that collection here so call it wheels um, front wheels So we've got front wheels and so we'll drag that in to there. Okay, so we've got that one, so hide that, press H to hide it. Um, we've also got one up here called front wheels, and I don't know what that is. Let's press Alt and H for a start. Front wheels. Well, that's the camera, so hide that. So, front wheels is correct, hide. Ah, I see. So double click that and put rear wheel. Rear. Well, actually we need a new collection um, and call that new collection rear wheels okay so this one is rear wheels rear wheels um, rims and then drag that into into there the front wheels we'll rename that again to front wheel rim wheels rims okay so we'll hide that because we've dealt with that okay so this one is spokes now where's that hiding i think it's in bin yeah bin so we'll call that front wheel spokes, front wheel spokes, and we'll move that into front wheels. Okay, so they're both in the group now, so we can hide them. Um, this one, 
we'll call that the uh, front wheel hub front wheel hubs and we'll move that into the front wheels collection and hide that uh, let's just so this is a stub axle so front wheel stub axle and then move that into the front wheel okay so we're collecting them up now hide that um, this is the front wheel washer front wheel washer and put that in the front wheels collection hide it so front wheel nut front wheel nut and hide that and put that in the front wheels collection so we've got all our front wheel bits almost hide that and then front wheel front wheel hub cap and move that into the front wheels so I can minimize that now right okay so hide that um, press 3 to go into side view and let's see what we've got here um, let's enable the rims again I just want to make sure right so we need the we need the um, um, we need the origin in the center so first off we use set origin to 3d cursor okay that's all mirrored over properly so hide okay so now the rear spokes so before we do anything we'll go there and say set origin to 3d cursor as you can see the little yellow dot appears there um, double click this and call it rear wheel spokes And then drag that into rear wheel collection, hide it. Um, this one, once again, we do object set origin to 3D cursor, and we rename that to rear wheel hub, rear wheel hub, and then hide put that into the real wheel collection and hide it um, this one once again go to object set origin to 3d cursor and call it the rear wheel stub axle Okay, and put that in the rear wheel collection. Excellent. Hide it. Uh, see where we're going with this. So, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Double click on here. Type rear wheel washer. And put that in the rear wheel collection and hide it. This one, object set origin to 3D cursor and call that rear wheel nut and put that in the rear wheel collection, hide it, and then lastly. This one, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, 
double click the name and call that the rear wheel hub cap okay so when we um, alter so move that into the rear wheel collection there we go so I'll move bin down out of the way here so it's at the bottom that's the body there's the guide meshes there's the blue it's very important to keep the um, to keep the outliner clear and tidy and know exactly what you've got um, let's click on the body to bring that into play and let's unhide all of these just you can do that by clicking the first one and dragging down and then the same for the rear wheels and then hide the bench there's nothing to hide in there okay so uh, that's where we are at the moment Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.